Hey what's good guys, it's Zach, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this really awesome pocket projector. This is great for those of you that want to go beyond watching movies and TV shows on your smartphone or your tablet, just find a blank canvas and you're good to go. Getting into the unboxing experience, you get the projector itself, you've got a mini tripod for the projector to sit on, a charging cable, and a remote which requires two AAA batteries, and unfortunately, they're not included. But taking a look around the projector, it's got a solid metal frame, smooth glossy finish up top and a pretty cool looking pattern on the bottom. Also on the bottom you will see the air inlet as well as four little rubber feet. On the back is where you'll find all of the I.O. You've got a micro SD card slot, the reset button, a full USB port, charging port, headphone jack, HDMI in. Right next to that you'll find the power button, a speaker, and on the right hand side you'll find the focus dial. Now inside this guy is a 4200 milliamp hour battery, which means it doesn't have to be plugged into the wall at all times, and it's good enough for two full hours of constant use. It's fast charge compatible, and if you need to recharge it and you're not near an outlet, you can go ahead and just use a power bank instead. In terms of software, this projector is running Android 4.4.4 KitKat with the Play Store baked in, meaning you can install pretty much any Android app you'd like. Of course, you can get things like Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and it's actually got Netflix, YouTube, and MX Player pre-installed. And for those of you that are wondering, yes, you can run Kodi on it, but you will have to sideload the older Jarvis version. So taking a look at the home screen, it's pretty basic. It's very straightforward. You've got all of your app icons where you need them. Everything is easy to find, and this is where the remote comes into play. And this is important because a trash remote can ruin the whole experience. The IR receiver is on the front of the projector, but it's quite sensitive, and I don't have to point the remote directly at the projector to get it to work. And the remote itself has very basic buttons, so nothing too crazy, but I am happy to report that it does work well. Now some other great things about this projector is that it does have Bluetooth, meaning you can navigate it with a mouse and a keyboard combo if you wanted to. It's got dual band Wi-Fi, which can help it get faster connection speeds. This also works out for the screen share feature, where you can cast what's on your phone screen directly to the projector, which I think is pretty cool. Now in terms of what this projector can actually handle, everything up to 1080p video works just fine. Anything above it and it begins to struggle a bit. But to be honest, 1080p is more than enough. It looks great. And on top of that, it's got DSP tech, which looks to deliver the best viewing experience possible. It also does a really solid job keeping itself cool with optimized heat dissipation. This of course helps with the projector's long-term lifespan. So overall, this is a fantastic projector. It's got a solid build, it's got everything you need, and in my experience, it's performed very well, and I really don't have any complaints about it. It's the perfect size too. Here it is next to my phone. It really doesn't take up that much space at all. So if you're going on a trip and you want to watch some movies and TV shows, this is the perfect option. You can charge it with the power bank. It's got Android, so you can install any streaming service that you want. You can hook it up to your laptop. You can play content directly off a micro SD card or a USB flash drive, and you can just easily cast your phone or tablet screen straight to it. So I went ahead and I dropped a link to this very projector down below in the description for those of you that are interested. So if you're looking for a portable projector that does everything that it's supposed to do, and it does all of those things very well, then look no further. So that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That does it for me. I'll talk to you guys in the next video, and thank you so much for watching.